Just look at this organization. Can you provide me with a dummy proof database that just maps out every single thing you know about me to make sure that I get all my goals met? It just created everything for me. Here's the real reason why you can't stay consistent as a coach online, and it has nothing to do with motivation. Most coaches think that they just have to grind harder or find inspiration, and then they'll magically start posting every single day. But the reality is motivation fades. Organization, on the other hand, does not. What if you had a system where every idea, script, client notes have a home, and you'll never feel stuck again? That's exactly why I built this Notion template. I call it the searchable brain so you can create daily without having to think. I'm going to break it down step by step in this video, so pay attention. Because once you get it, you'll never think about consistency the same way again. This template is also the first link in the description. And make sure to act fast because if you're watching this, I'm going to give it to you for mad cheap. Check it out. All right, but before we get into it, let me tell you exactly why I created this template in the first place. A lot like me, you're probably not dumb. You probably aren't that unorganized and you're probably not that lazy. But for some reason, you can't figure out how to get things done every single day maybe even still looking for notes look i tried to use every system the apple notes the google notes google docs like literally everything evernote and most of the time it goes like this you've got some crazy cool idea that you think will work and then you try to execute on it and then eventually just get burnt out like this took me too long to realize but when you just rely on the hype of idea you will always lose so here's a system that'll ultimately help you get shit done let's get into it all right so i hope you guys are as excited as i am because this is about to change your life but the first thing that i do is i use Use GenSpark browser, okay? So go ahead and get this browser. It's called GenSpark. It's pretty dope. The reason why I use it is because I can talk to my browser and I can also have AI do things for me. So for example, if I wanted to just automate my entire schedule or automate all the emails that I have in my inbox. You can literally talk to GenSpark and then GenSpark would just get it all done. Like you can come here and then it connects to your Notion. It connects to your Gmail, connects to your drive, your calendar. It literally knows exactly what you're trying to do. And you can tell it to schedule things into your calendar and then it'll get that thing done. So that's why I don't use just the Notion app as much. Like I have it up but I typically just lean towards GenSpark. So the first thing I do is I open Notion in GenSpark and I also open Notion Calendar, which we'll get into next. But when you open a searchable brain, it's gonna look like this. And the first thing you'll see is this quick capture button. This thing is so important because all you have to really know is this is the first thing that you click. You click quick capture as soon as you have a thought in your mind, right? Like you are on your laptop and you're like, damn, I need to figure out what to do. Is this a task, right? Is this a new note? Is this a new resource? Is this a project like something that falls into your projects or a contact like somebody you need to remember or something you just need to jot down really quick right the cool thing about this is when you hit the quick capture it'll store it clearly it'll store it neatly it'll organize everything for you and this took me a long time to figure out but this is the best way to do it and this thing also syncs to your phone. So for example, when you look at my home screen of my phone, I have a modern dump phone. That's what we call it. But these are tasks that are also in here. So first, if I hit the side button on my phone, I'll show you guys how to set this up. Then I can put a new note down. So when I'm walking around and I just have a thought or idea, I just say what it is and then I hit done. And then all of a sudden, it will put it inside of my Notion and organize it on my home screen to make sure I get it done. So that's an important step too, which we'll talk about later later on in the video. This is a dashboard that has literally everything organized for you. So you can see the areas, the goals, the school, the tasks, literally everything in a screenshot or like a snap, right? But like I mentioned, that's typically not where you're going to be working the most at. You're going to be going quick capture. And then next, you can also look at the projects. So in projects, these are the main projects in my life. Like I've got my AI Africa thing that I'm planning right now with my team. I've got my brand deals and this thing manages all of my brand deals and everything that I work on with my team. I also have my YouTube world. So I'm scripting my next videos and how that's going. And also the school, because I have a school community and my cohort and my client side of things. So everything's broken down in these categories and it goes so in depth. For example, if I click my AI Africa project, you can see literally everything that I've written here. My team can see it. We can see exactly how it's broken down, when it's going to happen, all the logistics and stuff like that. It's cool. Instead of using like a Google Doc, this thing has everything organized right there that you can immediately get to. For example, for me, I do a lot of brand deals on Instagram and YouTube and stuff like that. My, Me and my team can see exactly like all the brand deals, the sizes, stuff like that, who I'm waiting on, exactly all the stages that's happening there, which is really powerful. Next, I got my YouTube world, my school, you get the idea. But I can have my life into these projects to make sure that I check off everything that needs to get done. And the cool thing about it is when you hit that quick capture button, you can just write down a note and then click the next category. Like, for example, let me do it now. 
So say I come here and I have something to do. I just know I have something to do. I get new task that I can put in here. I have to to email Bill. Let's say Bill. Okay. And then under that, you're going to see the area, which we're going to go over next, but you can see how I can come here and hit project and I can put what project that is. So it'll automatically organize it in that category based off of that. And also if you have a goal to hit, so you can see all the goals that I have here, like I want to launch, I got my cohort going on, I want to hit my members and it's tracking all the, the projects. So we'll go into that also. And then you can hit the urgency, like if it's urgent, it'll make sure you get notified and make sure that you see that you need to get this thing done. And also you can hit focus and this can track the time to make sure you email build or whatever you need to get done. So, so let me go back into projects. If you want to create a new project, all you have to do is hit new page and it'll create a project there. So very simple, very easy to do. And there's many ways you can look at this. If you want to look at it here, like a Kanban type of board or by area, like no area, I don't really look at it that way. So I don't use it in that sense, but it's so many different ways you can look at it. Inbox means, you know, if it's in your inbox, typically it's something, there you go. It's a status, like if you need to get it done or if it's done or if it's in progress and stuff like that. But I typically just look at the projects just like this to see everything that I have to do in a snapshot. Okay, so let's go back. Now, the next thing is the area. So these are the areas that of my life that are really important, right? Like I've got the work, I've got the YouTube world, I've got the personal growth world, and then also the tasks will be organized under this stuff. So you can see in my personal growth world is things that I want to do. Like I need to do stuff with headway. I need to read books, build habits. I've got stuff with relationship tips, just resources that I find. If I find a link on Instagram, like a powerful video that helped me at all figure something out, I'll just copy the link and drop it in here. Really easy to do on the phone, but I typically do it here too. So basically the areas is just what area of life is this task have to do with? You can see which one is active and then you can also time it. You can even monitor things you need to do when it comes to your health. So it's a really powerful database also. But when we go back, here is the task. These are my to-do tasks that I have to do every single day, broken down. You can see which ones I've done. You can see which ones I'm doing. And I never really look at it like this. But the cool thing is these tasks are also on the home page of my phone again. So every time I open my phone, I can just see which ones I have to get done. So for example, let me show you how fast it is. So if I come here, open my phone, right? Remember, let's so show you here. I hit the side button and I can say, make sure I script this YouTube video. So you see there, wrote it and uh, it's hard to do. Boop, I hit done. And now it should show up here. Oh, you can see I spelled make sure I script this YouTube video wrong, but you can see where the note is created and I can write more information on here. And then once I hit done, it'll disappear from my home screen. And also it's just right on there to make sure I get that thing done. And that's pretty much how tasks work. Topics are the main topics that's going on in your life. If there's something that have to do with mindset, tools, if it's some type of topic you've got going, if you're a web designer, if you're a graphic designer, if you're a coder or whatever, you can have your code here so you know what topic that this thing has to do with. But basically, these are just the inner things that you'll type in when you are trying to categorize the quick captures. Next is notes, which is self-explanatory. If you take notes, you go ahead and see all of your notes here. And the cool thing, too, is Notion can actually listen to the calls that you have. So say, for example, if I have a call coming up with my team, Notion, go ahead and take the notes of the call that I have and organize those notes into my Notion board also. So if we go back here to my task, another cool thing is you got the option to go ahead and view your task in your calendar. So you can move these things around and it'll go to your calendar. That's why I like to use Notion Calendar because it's connected to my Google Calendar, but also I have tasks that I can put in here too. Like for example, let's just say if I have check price for something. I don't even know what this is, right? But I just dropped it in today's date. Now, when I go over to my calendar, now I see it here. It says check prices for my chair. So there it goes. I can put that into my calendar. And also if I click it, I can go into see the notes that I wrote down in that category. So I think it's super powerful to have your notes in one place and then also have your calendar and your notes so you know exactly what's going on, especially if you're working with the team. They can see exactly what you're doing and they can go ahead and write notes in there. If you have to film a video, if you need help scripting, whatever it is, right, you can just do everything in one place. And I think that these are self-explanatory resources, any links that you have that you need to get back to to remember 
that's pretty self-explanatory. You can go ahead and find them there. Contacts, if you need to remember somebody's birthday or anything in that sense, you can go ahead and remember it there. Okay, so the next thing we have here is goals. So this one is so, so powerful, okay? And this is why Notion is so dope. I think that's better than any other app because now this thing knows your goals because you've been taking all types of notes in here. You've got everything inside of your Notion. So it knows who you are. Think about it like ChatGPT, right? ChatGPT knows all the conversations you have. Notion does too, but it doesn't have any limits. You can literally write millions of words in here. It's going to have everything organized for you. And then when you upgrade to Notion AI, which I highly recommend, you can go ahead and say like, based off of everything you know about me, can you ask me 10 questions so I can get crystal clear about all my short-term, mid-term, and long-term goals. And then you answer those questions off of here, then you can go ahead and tell it to put this all in your Notion template for you so it can organize everything for you because it has access to your Notion. So it's not like you have to manually write all these things in. Like I didn't write any of this stuff in. Notion did it. It put the areas, it put the due dates, it put like the progress of how much that I have to get done. It literally does everything for you. Like all you do is just talk to this little thing right here and it can do the actions for you. So I'm not sure if you truly understand how powerful that is. But basically, if you think about it, this is your searchable brain where you can search anything that's going on in your brain, right? At any moment, anything you've ever written down. And then you can tell it to do things for you in Notion instead of you having to write it down. You can say, organize this for me. Organize all of my short-term goals into tasks to make sure that I get them done every single week. And it'll go ahead and do it for you in real time. And you can just watch it do it. And like it mentions, it can even translate it to a different language if you're not native in English or whatever it is. Okay, so on this side, I love this side. So inbox is everything that's not tagged. So when you go to your inbox, these are things that I didn't put a date on. And then if I put a date on it, it'll disappear from my inbox, which is really cool. So say, for example, if I click here, and let me just put a date on this, like due date is, I'm actually going to make this due date tomorrow. Boop, there it goes. Now it disappears from my inbox because now it's in my calendar, which is cool. So you can see a snapshot of everything that you have to get done that are in your inbox that isn't scheduled. So that's huge. Next thing is my day. Oh, I love this tab. So this is probably one that I use the most also. And since it's something I use the most, I wanted to leave this so I can show you guys how I do it. You can click here and you can also favor it. And now when you favor it, these are the things you need to get to the fastest. So I'll put that under my searchable brain. But first is the home screen, of course. Another thing is the deal tracker. Like I need to do the deals, like I mentioned. Another thing I need to get to is to see my calendar to be able to move things over. And the resources, my tasks, just like everything that I went over is just on my side panel. But for my day, this one's so cool because this one helps you schedule your day. Like, for example, did I work out yet? No. Did I make money today? Yes, I made money today. Did I make content? I'm making content right now. Yes. Am I focused on my YouTube world? Yes. Did I spend time writing? I did. And did I post in my community? I have not yet. And the cool thing about it is all of this stuff is tracked, which I'll show you next. But that's where I start when it comes to my day. Then I come down here and I just journal, right? So the cool thing about it is you can click a new page here. Here, and then it'll create today's journal. Then it asks you a few questions like, what did you achieve today? What was memorable? So all you have to do is answer these questions. I typically use Whisper Full on my laptop so I can just talk and then it'll write everything down to me. But every day I just go ahead and I answer these questions and then it's logged so it knows when you're doing it. And then any notes you have today. Then from there, it'll just mark it here. So you just have your notes. And then also it shows in my day the things I have to do. I have to post this this colo, I have to, I put the chair thing in there. Remember when I did this in my notes? So now it's showing in the thing that I have to do today and it says low priority. So it even marked that it's not a big priority right now. And also has to edit this emergent video. So it knows, it keeps me focused on exactly what I have to do for the day. And let's just say in this colo post, I need to post this thing. So I'm going to hit focus, right? So the cool thing about it is if I had this focus tab, it's going to show me all the things that I have to focus on to make sure that I get those things done, which is really, really cool. Just having everything super lasered so you know exactly what to do at all moments. It's a really cool thing about my day. The next is we've got the quick capture, which we talked about, the knowledge hub. You really don't have to look at this. This is just mainly a big snapshot of everything you have to get done that knows your knowledge. And then you can also track your time. So as you're doing things, you can just click start. 
it didn't stop. And then it'll show you how long it took you to work on certain things. If you're the type of person that likes to time track, I like to time track, but not too much. But this is a great way to do it because you can go ahead and do it automatically without having to hit it manually and tell it like what you've got done. Another thing that we've got is archive. You really don't have to look at that. That's just things. It's pretty self-explanatory. And then more is offline mode if you want to work on it and you don't have Wi-Fi or whatever, you'll be able to use it there. And then these are cool. So you've got a book tracker if you read and then have habit tracker. We kind of touched on this one, but remember when I said that I had made money today, I've recorded today, you know, the things that I have done, it shows me my prior progress. And then it can show me in the week, the things that I've got done. Then it even makes a chart out of all the things that you get done. So it'll automatically make sure that you get everything done strategically, make sure it's all organized for you. But I just went through the entire board. So that's everything that's going on in the background. But all you need to focus on today is just quickly capturing all of your ideas. And as long as you do that on your phone and on mobile, it'll make sure you get things done. Okay, so let me show you how everything is set up on the phone. It's pretty simple, but really dope. So the first thing you need to do is go to the App Store, and then you need to look for an app called Blank. So it's going to look something like this one right here, Blank Spaces. You get this? Well, I need to update it. But basically, what this will allow you to do is it's going to make your phone like this. It'll hide all your apps. Basically, you have to go ahead and remove the apps. So, for example, like you would click it and then you can remove the app, but just remove it from your home screen. So you want to remove all apps from your home screen. That's the first thing that you want to do. Second thing you want to do is, yeah, go to the app blank. So let me see if it's done uploading, downloading. There we go. And you'll be able to put the apps that you want to get to the fastest here. You can just hit the plus button and go ahead and add it. But basically that will give you this type of look to where it's just very minimalistic and nothing on your home screen. Next thing you need to do is get this app called Sync Task. So let's go back to the app store. There we go. So we look at Sync Task. This tool is going to allow you, gosh, I got to update everything. But this tool is going to allow you to connect your notion to your home screen. So you're able to just check things off. Okay, so when you go into the app sync task, you can see my notion task here. And I'm going to click the little three buttons in the corner. And then you can see where it says task. But this is where you add your notion space. You just hit here and then connect the task that's inside of your notion. So that's how you can talk to it. So basically, it'll prompt you to connect your notion. That's pretty much it. And then you can just find your notes. And then from there, it'll just pop up on your sync task but then you would just go here hold down your home screen and we want to edit home screen hit edit and then you want to add a widget and the widget you want to look for is the sync task widget and then that will allow you to have your task right on your home screen just like this so that's the way i have it set up pretty much on my home screen the next thing i have is notion notion calendar and the notion email below so Notion Calendar looks like this, of course, just like your calendar. But I also have my notes in there. See, the purple is my notes. So it's pretty dope. I see that I have to still edit the emergent and then also have my main notion. So I can go ahead and look at the searchable brain and everything that I covered before is here organized the same way. So I can hit quick capture. Pretty simple. The last thing you need to do need to go to create a shortcut so when you go to your shortcut app you just hit add and then you look for a sync task so when you look for sync task boop and i can add sync task and then from there it basically says add task to blank folder right so i can hit task right sorry there to which folder and then you can go ahead and click the folder that you want to add task to so task right there is the one that's inside of my notion so pretty much that simple and then the last step you need to do is just go to your settings after you add your shortcut and when you go to your settings just search for your action button there you go and then just go ahead and click that automation right there from your shortcuts so now when i go ahead and click the side button I can just add a task and then it'll go to my home screen and then it'll also sync to my notion. So it's pretty much how I got it going on. And I promise you, it is the fastest way to go from like having something in your head to making sure you get it done every single day. Because once it's staring literally at your front screen all day, it'll make you want to get it done. I guess it's like very difficult to not get things done when it's just 
right in front of your face all day. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and you can find this template link below. If you've watched this video, I'm gonna give it to you half off. Hopefully you find value, hopefully see you in the community. But if not, definitely check out that template because we need to get organized in 2025, 2026, just far.